Gordo here from Gordo's Games and I'm bringing you some more Digimon TCG content today. So today I'm bringing you my round two from um, Nationals and it was a case of I played a lot of Bond of Friendship. So now with this one I have sped up the footage a little bit to avoid the, the dead air for you all. Um, and obviously just trying to make it as, as clear and concise as possible. So obviously with this it's all new to me so any feedback comments you got please leave them as uh, section down below but if you do enjoy the content don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you know when this content goes live for you I will be going through the rest of my rounds in a similar fashion all right so we're just getting set up here and then we'll, uh, we'll go into it so I think I, I believe I take first turn here overall so going to the Coromon, going to the Argomon, and then we're going to the Promo Greymon. So it's a nice, a nice solid start to begin with there. I've got the Coromon over the Greymon, so I get some additional draw power, as well as the fact to be 7k body swinging. Now, with most Bond decks, um, it's just a case of the Octo and Bond of Friendships are the ones I have to worry for because of being at 7k, but I do go into the School Greymon to try and counter that. My opponent here has not got the most ideal Gobbymon, but they're still a Gobbymon nonetheless, but they have got the Tamer down, so they're getting their value out of it. And it goes swings, Geogray comes out and pops that, that's what we like to see. And the government goes down, and nice wall just to say no fun for me. Now, realistically, I only took School Greymon as a one off for the day. Uh, after playing all these matches, I could I can manage to say School Greymon was, was possibly not worth it uh, in the rush matchups because he's just it's a little bit slow. So I go to Lightning Joust here to try and get, add a bit of pressure. And we're swinging for three checks. Uh, DP wise, I think I'm 10k, 12k, something like along those lines. But as you see there, there's three checks to happen. I've hit a Corjumon, which is drawn to. I've hit a Davis, which is now reset to three, and I've hit a Hammer Spark, which has then moved them to four. So, you know, the amount of value I have just lost in those swings is massive. Now I know there's no bond of friendship on board, or there's no, the, you know, it's not the Bond of Friendship Godmon on board, but still, um, a lot of things can go against me at this point because there is now one in Raisin. I'm on a timer, I don't have a tamer down, so I can't swing, swing, and then go for a Goonie for game. And I'm pretty sure I go ahead and get Ice Walled all over again, which is. which really, after playing it so it's throughout the matchup so much, is there's a good reason that card is getting, uh, getting limited. So, a swing I can do security, get rid of my Agamon. Just to relieve some pressure, I guess. You take the bonds here. Has he got one, or does he take the mat? So he takes the mat and puts the bonds to the bottom. So he's already got it in hand. He's already set up, ready to go. And it's the Guni. He's safe. And hits the Agamon. Cordyman safe. So nothing has hurt him in security. I really need something to answer for me. An atomic blaster, a Gaia force, anything at all, just to remove potentially one body. But yeah, it's, it's, it's not looking promising. So he's going to go ahead and put a mat down, put me on two. Really, I needed a tamer and, you know, to put, be put on mat two. A Goody, a Geograph game, but, you know, my value for that day was not great. So we're going to the Algamon. We'll swing with a Geo into the Corjumon to kind of subside some of the uh, tempo. And then we'll throw down the Tai and the Agumon. Now I know he's got the Kendo out, but he's going to just bounce that to hand, but I kind of just felt like I needed to throw some of that board. It was just in hand at that point. There's Bond. And the last few checks was another Tamer and I think a Lobo. So swings, first check. Agumon, okay. Second check is a Bond. And so Kendo for game. And as you can see there, so my my first few turns weren't weren't ideally the worst turns. There was a good amount of pressure, and normal circumstances that probably would have been fine. But the security bombs really did do a number on me. You know, they they put me at such a loss for tempo. It was unbelievable. Okay, so we're gonna go for round two here, and I, be I believe I'm gonna go into. Uh, I'm gonna swing first. I think in these matchups you kind of just have to, don't you? Okay. 
Okay. So we get set up here and let's uh let's see how me and the security can be used to me this time. The look of uh the look, the drained look is those securities whack me one by one. <laughs> okay, so it has into a demi mirror. Going into the EX Argu. And then throw down the two cost Argu. So I don't think my hand was the best in this round here. So I didn't have a tire to throw down to get to established. I didn't have a green one to go into. Um, so I've just tried to establish a few bodies just to get a few, few checks out. My opponent's hand is no better, but the cordial one comes down to fetch two cards for them. Which isn't the worst, uh, especially when my hand is... I'm, I'm pretty sure I have two lightning joust in hand. I'm sat here contemplating whether I lightning joust the uh, two vanilla Argu twice. Now I, I decide to swing with it. In hindsight, I wish I'd, I'd lightning joust because I know his security isn't great after those two checks. So I'll go ahead and guy force it just to remove a body off board. And probably probably a bit overkill. I probably could have just ignored it to a point. He's gone ahead and uh, threw down a cordial one to get out to zero. He's got a goblin one at raisin. And the amount of cards he's got after this cordial ones is really putting some graft. I only just realising the nice little face off between Gallop Mon and Biel's Mon. <laughs> okay, so he throws down the Gallop Mon, so he's gone, he's gone a bit wider here. Go for the Star Ragu in Raisin, on top of the Demi Mera. I'm going to swing with the Argu. And you'll see what I mean by the value. So I hit an Octo, which is fine. If I if I put two Lightning Joust on the, the Vanilla, it would have survived. I have Lightning Joust now, like, do I even want to do it? It's like, I'm, I'm going to do something. So we're going to swing one check at 6k to see if it lives. And guess what? It hits a map. Of all the things it does, it hits a map. And then we throw down the Argu to put him on one. So you see, if, if I'd done what I, I originally thought, Lightning Joust did those things, I would have been in a, a much stronger position. Even if I just Lightning Joust once and then followed up with a bit later on, it's uh, still. Hindsight is a beautiful thing. So I put my opponent on one, he ice walls. The hammer spark? What was he on? Goes over my Argu, which is what I expected. And throws down the map. So now he's guaranteed. So yeah, here we go. Now we'll discuss the memory. It's like, you know, you put me at three, basically. It's not like I have a tie to, to make a difference from that. It, you know, it would have been nice. Um, but I think I just go ahead and swing here. There's not a lot I can do. Lose two memory. Hits God when it lives. Swing, lose two memory. Pass over turn at one. God when it lives. So both my things live off the back of that. See, the security this time was not favourable for my opponent. The map being hit in security was the best thing possible. But if I had the first my uh, game one hand, it could have been a different game. But there we can see the bond come down. Swing. Bomb deck the Argu. And uh, check is an Argamon. Go ahead, swing, bomb deck the Argu. That's uh, an Argumon. My security is not favourable here. I think I hit one tie out of this security, which is all but too late. It's like there's just there's just no answers for me here. Even if I guy forced or anything along those lines or a time blaster, there's just too many checks coming my way because that bond of friendship stays. So there you have it. That was my round two of my day. As you can see, I had a very rough day back to back with bond of friendships, and I just thought I wanted to share these uh, 
these joyous moments with you all. So if you, like I said, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And let me know what your thoughts are, if I can do anything better with the commentary, or if you can do anything better with the footage and get my content overall, because I'm always looking to change and improve. But for myself, Recorder Games, thank you for stopping by, and I'll catch you all later.